G'day guys, it's Sam Danes from Ardento here. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm bringing you a video which is focusing on Zoho Inventory. So Zoho Inventory is the inventory control application within the Zoho suite of products. Um, it tightly integrates with Zoho Books for bookkeeping and accounting purposes. And it's widely used in e-commerce industry. It has great integration to Shopify. Um, other e-commerce channels, and just general wholesale distribution. So if you are after a, an inventory control solution, you should definitely check out Zoho Inventory. Today's video though, is gonna be focused on a specific function that has been added to the software. And it gives you the ability to automate the sales order cycle. Now I'll drill into this a little bit more, but let's just talk about what automating the sales order cycle means. When you're using a distribution system like Zoho Inventory, the distribution process from quote or order through to invoice is typically broken down into a few different transactional steps. You've either got the quote uh, or the sales order, which is the customer's intention to buy the product. So no stock is moved with these documents. We're just talking about producing a document with the intent to purchase and listing our items and pricing on them. And then you've got to go through the process of creating a shipment and a package. So taking the products and going through your picking and packing process. So Zoho inventory breaks this down into a, a shipment process and that needs to be completed. And then the final step is generating the invoice. And that's the financial document that you're going to give to your customer so that they can pay for the goods that you're distributing. So it's generally sort of three or four different transactional steps that you need to go through from the sales order process through to invoice and completing the process. The automating sales order cycle lets you go through all of these steps in a more automated fashion. So let's go through what that means to turn that on what you need to consider when you do turn it on, and then what you actually can experience while it's enabled. Okay, so we've got a, a demo version of Zoho Inventory open now. Um, let's just walk through the steps of creating a normal sales order without any kind of automation turned on. So, you know, we create a new sales order in the system here. We select our customer, um, and we would go through and populate the relevant products, um, pricing, etc., uh, And then the final step down the bottom here, if I move my camera out of the way, is save and send. So by this is the only option that you've got available to you. You hit save and send, it would send the email off. You can cancel that. Um, and then when we're looking at the sales order, you know, it's essentially a draft state. Um, the next step is we have to mark it as confirmed. And so then, you know, if you're looking at sales orders, you can see across the top here, Zoho does a nice job of indicating the status of this order using these columns here, whether it's been invoiced, whether there's a payment received, whether it's packed and shipped, and has a little light in each one, up, indicating where we're up to in the stage of that order. So the next step, generally speaking, with a sales order is you need to um, create a package, which is packaging up the goods for um, for shipment. I've only got one in here and I'm gonna um, complete the package process. Once you've completed the package process, you can complete the shipment process. So I can either ship, if I've got an integrated carrier set up, in this instance, I'm just gonna ship manually. I'm just gonna choose um, one of the shipments that I've got are in there and I'll mark this shipment as delivered, which is really just an indicator to say that this particular shipment um, has uh, been completed. So I've already had to do three to five sort of steps in that process to be able to kind of get my, my shipment um, created. I had to go through the, pro, uh, the process of um, confirming the, the sales order, packing it and shipping it, and then I can go ahead and create my invoice. So these are the steps that you'll probably be familiar with and, and the steps that you have to undertake when you are going through a normal sales order process. So let's look at the new option, which is to automate the sales order cycle. And to enable this, you need to go uh, up to the settings area in Zoho inventory, down to preferences. 
And then if we go down um, to sales orders under the preferences menu here, we can see that there is an option here called automate the sales order cycle and it's disabled by default. You need to turn that on. What this option is doing is it's basically saying, I want to skip over some of the steps in the process. Now, it isn't actually skipping them. It's just completing them automatically for you. So for instance, I can say, look, I just want it to automatically create the shipment and the, and the package. So we know we are going to dispatch this sales order in full. We're not doing any partial shipments or partial package, meaning if we're shipping, if we've got 10 of an item on an order, we're going to ship 10. We don't need to go through the individual steps and we want to just use like the same carrier, the same, um, the same shipment preferences as to the status of the shipment here. Look, generally speaking, you know, you can have it create an invoice as well. I, I like to separate the invoice process from the distribution process. So I think probably the better options are just creating a package and creating a shipment. I'm um, leaving invoice unticked. So this gives us the option to just go straight ahead from a sales order and have it do all of the shipment packaging steps and then um, allow us to create the invoice when necessary. Zoho does point out a couple of things here, which is worth noting before you enable this. Um, you know, you you have to execute the sales order cycle from the detail page of the orders that have been imported. So, you know, you have to, kind of, if you've imported a stack of orders, you got to go through and execute those in a separate area. Transactions with custom fields will, uh, will, with, will be created with the custom field empty. Important, if you've got custom fields on your sales order, on your shipment record that you want to be filled out as you complete this process, this, this automated sales order cycle is just going to skip over those fields and they'll remain blank. Um, you can't create packages or invoices if you've got serialized inventory enabled. Makes sense. You're going to need to complete that serialized allocation um, as part of the process. So look, that's common sense. It's not going to be. It's not going to make sense to automate the shipment and packaging process if you need to track serial numbers. Um, and it's just basically making mention of disabling custom functions that might interfere. So if you have got complicated workflows or functions, you want to evaluate those and how they interact with the creation of shipments and packages beforehand. If you call with all those options, you can enable it um, and see how it behaves. So we're going to go down and save our preferences now with the automate sales order cycle turned on. And I'm going to create a brand new sales order. So again, I'm going to pick my Donald Duck, Donald Duck farming customer. Um, I'm going to pick some items or an item with a couple of quantity in this instance. Maybe not 200. Let's just go for two. You'll immediately notice the button down the bottom now says save and confirm, whereas before it was save and send. So this is indicating that it's going to kind of trigger the automated sales order process. We're going to click save and confirm here and you get this new window pop up. I really love how this has been implemented actually because it does give you some other options rather than it just going ahead and completing those automated documents. You can say, look, I want to, for this particular order, just execute the sales order cycle in its entirety. I'm going to click it. It's going to power ahead and it's going to generate the package and the shipment automatically. I want to overwrite the sales order cycle. So I want it to go through the steps of automation, but I want to sort of have some influence over what it's doing in those steps. Or do you know what? For this order, I'm going to need to go through the shipment process manually. So I don't want it to be automated, especially if you're doing a partial shipment. Let's go override. It's a great option because it just immediately gives you the option to untick some of them. You can say, look, in this instance, I do want to create the invoice. I don't want to create the shipment or I want to change the shipment preferences. I almost recommend using this override option because it just gives you that option to double check what the automated steps are going to be. 
you're happy with the options there, go ahead and create my package, create my shipment and um, use these shipment preferences. I can hit execute. Straight away, um, you get a message here that it's saying that it's being executed. So there can be a small delay, but you refresh it here. Um, and then once it's completed, you, you will find that it's going to have all of the statuses um, completed for you in those areas. So we've got the ability to automate the shipment package and even invoice creating straight from a sales order. Really great time saver guys and a, and a feature that if you are always finding, man, why do I have to go through all these individual steps to get my sales orders fulfilled in Zoho inventory, enable this option and you can really take yourself through this process in a much more automated and efficient manner. So guys, I hope that was useful. Um, check in soon for more great Zoho content. Chat soon.